Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. It's time for Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. Thank you for joining me today on Faith to Live By. This is Sue Taylor. I know you've heard me talk many times about having and establishing a devotion time with the Lord. Time alone with God is the most important time that you and I will ever spend. Time spent in His presence will set the tone for the day. It will keep you focused and will bring peace in unexpected circumstances should they arise. I recently came across something that I wrote back in 1992 during one of my times of devotion. And it says, O Master, show me this morning how to yield myself up to Thee completely, and then how to ask of Thee things great enough to be worthy of a king's giving. Make me equal in my request to Thy infinite eagerness to give. Touch with thy pierced hand the hidden springs that will cause every part of my being to fly wide open to thee, my Lord and my God. And then I ended with, is anything too hard for my Lord? No, it isn't. Time spent with God is never wasted time. It is time that must be cultivated and consistent and expectant. Here is a simple formula in applying a consistent devotion time with the Lord. The Bible says and tells us to seek Him early. Now, there are many examples in the Old and New Testament of the saints of God, including Jesus, whose habit was to rise early and seek God. In Genesis 19, it is written, Now Abraham arose early in the morning and went to the place where he had stood before the Lord. In Genesis 28, it is said of Jacob, He rose early in the morning and took the stone that he had put under his head and set it up as a pillar and poured oil on its top. It is said of Moses that Moses rose up early in the morning and went up to Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him, and he took two stone tablets in his hand. It is also recorded that Samuel's parents arose early in the morning and worshiped before the Lord. Of Jesus, it is said many times in the early morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house and went away to a secluded place and was praying there. A people, it is recorded in Luke, and all the people would get up early in the morning to come to him in the temple to listen to him. There are many more biblical examples of people rising early. David and Job, Gideon, Hannah, Mary, and the apostles. Although there is no commandment of God in the Bible that tells us to get up early, there are many examples in the Bible and down through history of faithful servants of God rising up early. John Wesley, George Mueller, and many others. And they all, if you read their stories, they accomplished great things for God. Early rising brings in great results. An hour later or earlier does make a difference. We all know how easy it is to be interrupted when the day wanes on. There is something essential about the morning watch, preparing for our day. Early will I seek you, O Lord. The second aspect of a healthy and effective devotion time is that it should be done daily. D.L. Moody, who founded the Moody Church and Bible Institute, was a great evangelist and a very humble man. He sought the Lord with all of his heart. And he once said, A man can no more take in a supply of grace for the future than he can eat enough for the next six months or take sufficient air into his lungs at one time to to sustain life for a week. He goes on to say, We must draw up on God's boundless store of grace from day to day as we need it. 
The things we battle in establishing a daily devotion time are laziness, disinterest, and the temptation to just skip our time with God. Jesus has promised blessing for those who meet with him in secret. He promised that he would reward those openly who pray in secret. This brings us to the third aspect of establishing a devotion time. Diligently seek him. Don't let anything or anyone keep you from seeking God. Diligent means careful and persistent work or effort. It is work and it takes effort to make and keep a devotion time. Solomon, the wisest man who ever lived, said, Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all of your might. This means do it to the best of your ability. Do it with diligence. Jesus tells us, Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he comes, will find so doing and not be caught in idleness. In Proverbs twelve twenty seven, it tells us diligence is a man's precious possession. In fact, the Amplified says, The plans of the diligent lead surely to plenty. You know, when we are diligent about our devotion time, it leads to us having more time to accomplish what we need to accomplish. It is similar in paying our tithes. There seems to always be enough money left over to meet our needs when we pay our tithes first. Beloved, God wants us to put first things first so that all other things fall into place. And giving God time early in the day, giving Him time daily, and being diligent in our time brings great blessing. I challenge you today to set aside time early each day and meet with your precious Lord Jesus. One final aspect of developing an effective devotion time is yielding. As we meet with Him early, daily, and diligently, let us yield ourselves, our families, our ministry, our home, our businesses, our country, and every aspect of our lives to Him. Yielding many times means that we just cease our struggling, trying to figure out why things happen as they do, or why our prayers are delayed, or why our country is struggling. It is not ours to always know the why of everything. But it is ours to trust our Lord in the why of everything. Yield up to God today, beloved, everything. Trusting Him to meet you where you are, early in the morning seeking Him. His great promise to us is that He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Don't delay, beloved. Start your day every day in His presence, and then you surely will have faith to live by. You've been listening to Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. If you would like to write with your comments or to request a copy of this program for an $8 donation, write Sue Taylor, 10827 Highway 86 East, Neosho, Missouri, 64850. Sue Taylor is a member of the KNEO team and a keynote speaker at several church and women's events throughout the four-state area. To book Sue for your next event, contact Sky High Radio at 417-451-5636.